Last two weeks we learned about Jesus' birth. So what happened after that? What about Jesus' childhood and teenager years? What about the time um, up to the beginning of Jesus' public ministry when he was about 30 years old? There isn't really much information in the no, Bible about this time frame of Jesus' life. And we learned that Mary, Joseph, and Jesus returned to Nazareth. And Jesus grew up like any other boys, just like you. You grew up, but he was special. And in the book of Luke, Luke summarized Jesus' first 12 years, that the child continued to grow and become strong. And in the Amplified Bible translation, it says strong in spirit. And he was filled with wisdom and grace. Grace from God it is a favorite spiritual blessing of God that was upon Jesus. And then there was a story about this 12-year-old Jesus impressing the adults at the temple. And the story goes like this. So every year mm -hmm. for Passover, Joseph, Mary, and Jesus travel to Jerusalem for the festivals for the Passover to remember God's kindness when God rescued them from the slavery in Egypt. And when Jesus was 12 years old, something different happened. It was when it was time to leave Jerusalem after the festival, Joseph and Mary left with a group of people, assuming Jesus was somewhere in the group. However, after a whole day's travel, they realized that Jesus was not with them. And Jesus was nowhere to be found. Oh, where can he be, Joseph? Mary asked Joseph. Do you think he stayed behind in Jerusalem? Joseph, let's go back and look for him. And they turned around to find Jesus. Jesus! Jesus! They called as they walked back down the road to Jerusalem. But there was no answer. They searched everywhere. They looked here and they looked there, looking everywhere. Still couldn't find Jesus. Finally, on the third day, they found Jesus. There he is, Mary cried. They finally found Jesus. Can you guess where they found Jesus? Any clue? By the water. By the water? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> yes, in the temple. And not just in the temple. He was having a discussion with temple leaders just like you and me in a Bible study. Jesus was listening and asking them questions. So Jesus Christ knew that before he could teach, he needed to be taught, right? He needed to learn. So what does it show us? It shows us that Jesus was teachable and we must always remain teachable. Are you teachable? Are you willing to be teachable? So let's continue with our story. So in verse 47, everyone who heard him was amazed at his understanding and his answers. So these men did not know that Jesus was the Son of God. Jesus became wiser than these human leaders because he had another teacher. Can you guess who that other teacher is? God. God, yes. Remember in verse 40, it says strong in spirit. So Jesus had the Holy Spirit as his teacher. Do you know that we have the Holy Spirit as our teacher too? The moment when we accept Jesus as our Lord and Savior, we receive the Holy Spirit into our heart. And the Holy Spirit is God's Spirit. It is Jesus' Spirit. He is Jesus' Spirit. And in John 14, Jesus says that the Holy Spirit will teach us and guide us into all truth. So let's continue with the story. So Mary came up and asked Jesus, Son, why have you treated us this way? 
Jesus answered, Why were you looking? Didn't you know that I must be in my father's house? But his parents, Mary and Joseph, did not understand. Joseph obeyed his parents and traveled back to Nazareth, and where he continued to grow in wisdom and stature and in favor with God and men. So Jesus was not disrespectful to Mary here. At 12 years old, Jesus already knew that he was not the child of Mary and Joseph, but he was the son of God. And his work was not as a carpenter like Joseph, but as a teacher and savior. He knew that he came to earth to do the will of the Father. What did you have to learn when you were 12? Do you remember when you were 12, what did you have to learn? Part of what Jesus had to learn as a 12 year old was obedience, both to his parents and to his God, to his father, heavenly father. So God called him to submit even though he knew more than his parents. So Jesus grew in wisdom and stature, and we need to focus on that too, on growing in wisdom too. So what is wisdom? What do you think? What is wisdom? Wisdom. Wisdom is different from knowledge. Knowledge is having a head, head knowledge, but wisdom is applied knowledge. So being able to use knowledge, what you learned, together with insights to your situations and apply it to make a God-pleasing directions. So how do we do that? How do we have these insights and resolutions? God is wisdom. And in James 1.5, it says, if any of you lacks wisdom, ask God and he will give it to you generously. Wisdom comes from God. And we also gain wisdom by walking with the wise, with people who are wise, and you can learn from that. And also we can walk in humility, help us to make wise decisions. We don't want to be boastful. And you are boastful, you think that you don't need to learn anything, that you know everything. So walk in humility. How do we grow in stature? To grow, what is growing in stature? It means growing taller and older, but we can't control how tall you, you will be, right? So, but we can change our way to take care of our bodies, to eat healthy food and do exercises. How do we grow in favor with men? We abide in Jesus to display the fruit of the Spirit on a daily basis. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, fitness, gentleness, faithfulness, and self-control. And what does it mean to grow in favor or grace with God? And the Bible says that without faith, we cannot please God. Our faith in God must grow. So let us pray. Thank you, God, you for your lesson. God, um, I pray that you will help us to set our eyes on Jesus as our example. Help us to be teachable, help us to be humble and to learn obedience to you, Father, and to our parents. May we come to you and seek you for wisdom for our everyday challenges and situations. Help us, God, that um, we grow deep faith in you, and may we display your love and the fruit of the Spirit to people around us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. All right. Amen.